decided to, to focus on kids because eating habits start when we're young and they last a lifetime. So if you don't get it right by the time you're nine or 10, it's, it's much more difficult as you get older. You know, kids were not getting enough food in places like Brazil uh, a couple of generations ago, and now they're having the opposite problem. They're getting too much food. <laughs> Um, and there's you know, soaring rates of obesity and diabetes. We're seeing skyrocketing healthcare costs. And a lot of those healthcare costs could be reduced if people ate a, ate a healthier diet. So many of the illnesses and the diseases that we, we have today, uh, heart disease, colon cancer, diabetes, these are all food related. Overall, we're seeing um, diets converging all over the world. Um, so, for example, in Sicily, a boy there would have been eating a very different diet, you know, a generation ago than his counterpart in the U.S. But now it's as if their parents were shopping in the same global superstore because you're seeing all the same kinds of things, pizza, pasta, white bread, hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries. So I photographed a girl named Anchal, who lives with her family in a eight by eight foot um, little hut, aluminum hut. And her father earns less than $5 a day. And yet Anchal eats a pretty wholesome, traditional Indian diet with okra and cauliflower curries and lentils and roti, which her mother makes from scratch every day on the, on the floor of her hut. So Anshal, who's, who's quite poor, is eating a better diet than a lot of middle-class kids in India. In the U.S., um, it's generally the poor kids who are eating the junk food because it's cheap and, and convenient. But in places like India, um, it's more of a status symbol because most the average person can't afford to eat a Domino's pizza, for instance. A Domino's pizza is $13, and uh, that's way beyond the means of the average Indian. I was really shocked by the amount of packaging that people have in their waste. The more that we make our, our own foods, our own meals from whole foods, the less packaging we generate. So there's a, a real strong link between how we treat ourselves and our bodies and how we treat the environment. Think about what you're putting in your body because what you're eating is, is like medicine and you, know, you are what you eat. It's a very simple <laughs> statement, but you know, it's, it's true.